peace and blessings to anyone watching this video right now. Hope all is well. <clears throat> and if it's not, I know that it will be soon. Today in this clip, I want to talk about, give some quick tips in the intro. This is something I'll go deeper into, breaking it down more, using more examples. But I want to quickly go over on just a couple quick tips on how to keep the vibes high. You know, raising the vibration, you know, um, basically, you know, just getting you to be happier spiritually, just raising yourself up on the inside. That's what it means. You know, the vibe is one of those words that we use commonly. It's a spiritual word, but it's commonly used. And I don't know if people realize that when they're saying vibe, what you're saying is vibration. So, yeah, just think of it. Remember that from now on. Every time you use the word vibe, what you're really saying is vibration. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Things will start making more sense. First thing that I want to say that you should do is dress nice. And this is really simple. Because when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good and you're feeling confident, the vibes is high. It's really that simple. Just think about being in a store. And you got on like a nice tailored suit. Or like a nice expensive dress or something. You have to run in the store real quick. Like you're on your way to somewhere. You have to just run in the store for two seconds. Somebody bumped into you. When you look good, when you're feeling good, when, you, when you're just in a good mood... You know what I'm saying? And sometimes the outfit can do that for you. And when you're in a good mood, you don't even have time to be like, man, I ain't worried about this person that just bumped into me. You know what I'm saying? You start saying things like that instead of stooping to their level. Because when you stoop to their level, what you are doing is you are up here and you are taking yourself down to their vibration. You are on a higher level than them. Literally, like, you know, you are up here and they are down there, even though you're in the same space, you know. Hopefully that's easier to understand. But you are up here and they're bringing you down. That's what's stupid to their level. And when you are high enough, you can't even, it's like you can't even see down there. You're like, man, I don't, I don't got time for this. It's like you can bump. It's like you're not going, I'm not saying you should let somebody push you over, but you're going to be like, man, I don't got time for this. I'm going to keep it moving. And that's exactly what you're going to do. It's, it's as simple as dressing nice. And dressing nice doesn't mean drowning yourself in designer. Like right now, I personally feel that I'm dressed nice and this is, you know, my friend's hat. This is just some regular t-shirt, plain black jacket. This is it's whatever you feel comfortable in, whatever makes you feel good. Think of your older auntie or grandma who just wakes up every day, irons clothes to just chill in the living room or just go walk around the neighborhood or whatever. And they don't really wear a specific brand or whatever it might be. Or even if you're into fashion, you wear the certain brands and stuff and it's in your means, you know, as long as it's in your means and you're not going out your means and your intentions, because your intentions are important. I'm gonna make another video on intentions. And your intentions are to just, it's about you. You're not trying to impress anybody or whatever. It's just, I'm just trying to feel good. This will make me feel good. So that's why I'm doing it. So first one, dress nice, dress nicer. You know, just whatever it might be, whatever you feel comfortable, whatever got you, ooh, I look good when you walk past the mirror. That's your first one. <clears throat> Cleanse your space and keep your spaces clean. Keep your house clean. Keep your office space clean. Whatever room you're in, bathroom, everything. Keep your space clean. Your space is a reflection. Like your external space is a reflection of your internal space. It's cleansed. Keep things looking nice. Because when you go, like just coming home to a, a clean house can, can change a lot from you having a bad day. The energy is going to be like serene in your house. It's not going to be cluttered. It's not so. It's going to help you have a serene mind. It's going to help you have like you know be serene on the inside. So really simple. Just keep your space cleansed. You know, spread your bed in the morning. Vacuum. You know, just these things that we call chores. We got to get rid of that because the word chore makes it seem like it's something bad or it's a nuisance or something like that. When it really and truly all these things are to the benefit like being jamaican i never understood where the whole idea of like you gotta wake up and clean every day or you gotta or in jamaica when, we're, when we stay down there they're waking up to sweep out the yard and all that every day it's like damn we gotta do this every day but now that i'm older i understand the science behind this like when you got a clean space your space just feels light and serene it's like the best way i can describe it and externally is a reflection of internally and internally is a reflection of external and I always keep that in mind so keep your spaces clean at all costs no matter what even if you gotta get some you know even if you don't have the energy to do it 
You might got to hire somebody or call somebody over. Trust me, these are simple things that make big changes. Coming home to a clean space every day, or constantly having a clean space, will make big changes. These are the overnight changes, like fast. Do a detox, whether it be a mental detox, a physical detox, or a spiritual detox. Do a detox. A detox could be the difference of taking you from, you know, level one to level seven, level seven to level 20. And the higher you go, the better you feel, the easier things are going to be for you because the higher you raise your vibration, the better your life is going to be, the happier you're going to be, the happier you're going to be. You could be at work and they could be nagging you. They gave you a hundred page report. If you think about it, you've had coworkers like this or people in school like this. If you look back on it, they, it's like their heads are just in the clouds. Like, man, I don't care. It's like, all right. 100 page report, how long ago? I'll just do it. You know, when you start to have that type of attitude, when you're not like taking things too serious and not letting everything be like a big anchor or weight on your mind or on the inside or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you just, you know, it's like you're floating. It's like you're not really letting things get to you too much. So definitely one thing you want to do is do a detox, whether it be physical. If you know, you know, you need a physical detox if your body isn't feeling right. If you don't have the mental energy or, you know, your mind isn't right and your mind is all over the place, then, you know, you need a mental detox. And if it's a spiritual detox, if you like a spiritual detox is when you really can't get out of bed. Those that's that's when you're assign stuff like that when you need a spiritual detox when you don't want to go anywhere when you're not really trying to leave the house when you be you know you go into like the hermit mode you naturally do that because it's like you know you're naturally protecting yourself but that's the sign that you know work needs to be done it's like yes you're naturally going into like a defense mechanism but that's a sign that work needs to be done and the last one which relates to the detox which is the thing you know that I offer with the Keto Organic Life, aside from detoxes, is the, I don't call them diets, I call them lifestyle changes. You gotta make changes. If you are doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and not doing anything different, a lot of times one of our biggest problems is that we don't make changes, we just remix the bad behavior. We do the same things in different ways. It's like you'll date the same person, they just, You'll date the same type of person. They're just under a different body. They're under a different moniker. They're under a different race. But it's still the same type of person who caused you an issue before. Instead of making changes. And you have to try new things. Okay. If you're eating a certain way and it's making you sick, then you have to eat differently. If you're going to certain places and when you go there, it makes you unhappy. If you work a job and the job makes you feel drained or angry, then you should probably need a different job or you probably need to do something different. If you're working out and hitting a plateau and not seeing any results, then you've got to try something different. That's what's going to take you from level one to level seven to level 50 and on and on. Just changes in behavior, trying something new, trying something you never heard before because what you've been doing may work in the past or may have worked, you know, up to a certain point, but now it may not. Now it's not. So change in behavior. And so, you know, I'm just going to kind of end it there. But it's a good, yeah, I just want to, you know, go over everything one more time, wrap it up there, starting off, you know, dressing nice again, simple as look good, feel good. You know, you know, you're going to have you're going to be putting up with a lot less BS. You know, your head's just going to be in the clouds. A lot less things going to get to you because, you know, you already know how when you have on a nice outfit, you have on a nice suit, how you feel. You know, them, them days where you got to find a mirror because you want to take a picture. Or you Somebody got to get a picture of you. You know, you want to be recreating those days all the time. Cleanse your space. Keep your space cleansed. That's the next thing. Keep your space cleansed, you know, wherever it might be, whatever the area might be, treat it like it's a palace. That's how you end up in a palace. Keep it as simple as that. Keep your space cleansed. Keep your external space cleansed. It'll help keep your internal space cleansed. Lifestyle change and detox. Lifestyle change. You got to try new things. You got to do things differently. Detox. You might need to detox from something mentally, physically, or spiritually. All depending. And it can be all three or two or any combination. 
But at any point where something is affecting you physically, you know, whether it be making you sick uh, from something you're eating or, you know, not going to the bathroom, whatever it might be, physical detox. Spiritually, you know, you don't have energy, you feel drained, you want to get out of bed, spiritual detox. Things like shadow work. Um, and then mentally, you know, you it's like if you're a writer or something, you have a writer's block, uh, you just can't really think too much, you know, need a mental detox. And then, you know, that's basically it. So if you have any other questions, if you want to schedule to do a lifestyle change or a keto organic life detox, you can um, email me through the through the keto organic life dot com website or Instagram to get more information. Peace and blessings to anyone watching this video. I hope the vibes stay high for you. I hope this video helps raise your vibrations. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have anything that you want to learn about or any topics that I should touch on. Let me know. Peace.